Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet. Now I am going to solve this problem 255. In this problem, we are given this 120 Newton force and it is said that if this angle is 30 degrees, this alpha is 30 degrees, so we are required to find the moment of this force F about that point O. So first let me uh, draw some lines on this diagram. So let me draw let's say that this point is point B right so to find the moment of this force F first we will resolve this force into its components right so this will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction right so if this is the angle alpha so then this will be the cos component right so we can say that this will be 120 cos of 30 degrees this is 30 degrees and this is the sine component, right? So we can say 120 sine of 30 degrees, right? So first we need to find this uh, OB and AB length since uh, the perpendicular distance of this 120 sine of 30 component from that point O is this AB length and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point O is this OB length, right? So now I will write AB length. So now as we can see that this AB length is equal to 25 plus this 70, right? So this 70, this radius is given, right? So this is the 70 length, right? So 25 plus this 70 and then plus this 70 plus this 25, right? So this is overall AB length. So I will write 25 plus 70 plus 70 plus 25. So this comes out to be 190 mm, right? And the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point O is this OB length. So first we will find this OB length. So now uh, as we can see that this OB length is equal to this 70, this 70 length, this 70 plus this 150 plus this 70, right? So I will write 70 plus 70 plus 150 so this is equal to 290 mm right so now we can find the moment of this force f about point o and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive or let's say that the clockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point o so we will write that plus 120 cos of 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point O is this OB length, right? So we will multiply this with this OB length. So we will multiply this with 290. And again, as we can see that this sine component is producing the clockwise moment about that point O. So we will write plus 120 sine of 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point O is this AB length, right? So we will multiply this with 190, right? So this is OB length and this is that a b length so this gives us 41500 newton mm and if we divide this by 1000 so then this will be equal to 4.41.5 newton mm and since this is positive so this means that this is clockwise moment so this gives us the moment approximately equal to 41 500 Newton mm and if we convert this into Newton meters so then we need to divide this by a thousand so then this will be approximately 41.5 Newton meter now in the second part of this problem we are required to determine the value of alpha for which the moment would be maximum about that point O right so now we do not know this angle alpha Right, so we need to find this alpha for which the moment about that point O will be maximum, right? So now in that case, this force need to be perpendicular with this OA arm, right? So then we can say that the moment at point O will be maximum if this OA arm is multiplied with F perpendicular, right? So the F perpendicular magnitude is 120 Newton and then we need to find the length uh, that O A length, so this will be this will give us the uh, moment about O, the maximum moment about O. So first we will find that O A length, 
So O A length, if we look into this triangle, so we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So then O A length will be equal to this A B squared. So A B squared plus O B squared and we will take the square root, right? So this will give us that O A length. So that is the moment arm of this perpendicular force F, right? So A B is uh, 190 squared plus O B is 290 squared. We will take the square root. So this O A equals to 346.7 mm, right? So now we can find that maximum moment which I, which is required in this problem, right? So this O A is 346.7 and then this F perpendicular would be 120, right? So I will multiply this with 120. So this gives us 41600 Newton mm and in Newton meters it will be 41.6 Newton meter. Right, so this is the maximum moment of that force F about that point O. And now we are required to find this alpha angle for which this uh, moment will be maximum, right? So now as we can see that this force is perpendicular with this OA line and if I extend this line, this vertical line, so this is perpendicular with that OB line, right? So when this is the case, so then this angle would be also alpha angle, right? So now we can find this alpha angle by using this triangle so I can apply 10 alpha so 10 alpha will be equal to this AB divided by that OB line right so if we take 10 inverse so alpha will be equal to 10 inverse AB length right so AB length is again 190 so I will write 190 divided by OB which is 290 so this will give us that angle alpha and this comes out to be 33.2 degrees. So this is the solution of this particular problem.